A lot of people think that Justin Gagey is just gonna run through Max Holloway. Hell, I was one of those people and I've changed my mind. In fact, I can admit I was wrong and I actually think this fight will be extremely competitive. Since Max is looking extremely yoked and he looks like he's gonna have actually a bit of a sting on his shots. Like if you go back to Dustin Poirier versus Max Holloway 2, you would notice that Dustin was tanking most of Max's shots. Even when Max had a crazy amount of volume, Dustin was just eating him up. Whenever Dustin would land a punch, it really seemed to hurt Max Holloway. The power gap was very noticeable. And that worried me about Max moving back up to 155, especially against someone as feared as Justin Gaethje. But like I mentioned earlier, Max is finally putting on the weight. He's going to be a real 155er. So now his power slash volume is going to have more of a sting. This is going to be the first time we've seen Max become a real 155er which is extremely interesting. Now, with all that being said, the only concerning thing about this is that he's gaining this weight in such a short amount of time. What I'm trying to say is that he won't be able to adjust to it since the fight is literally around the corner. Because normally when you gain that type of weight, you're kind of more clunkier, you're probably gonna not feel as smooth, and you're probably gonna fatigue more since you have all that extra weight. But even with all that being said, now he has a better shot than he did before, I would say. And when you break it down, when it comes to skill for skill, I actually think this fight is pretty close. You see, the thing that makes Max so good is his ability to move into the pocket with a crazy amount of combinations and then sliding out of your range to avoid your counters. And yeah, Max is hittable, but that's because he wants to land these crazy ass fucking combinations. But the reason why this is so effective is because Max's chin is made out of steel and he can take everything you throw at him. And normally this causes his opponents to get overwhelmed and to start shelling up. But Justin Gagey on the other hand is extremely dangerous since now he hangs out on the outside and he faints a lot and waits for you to come into range so he can counter you with a bomb. And defensively, Justin is really good, especially in the pocket. His head movement and his counters are so freaking amazing. I think the only way Max wins this is by overwhelming Justin Gagey with his volume. And obviously it sounds more easier than done, but if Max can throw these combinations without getting hit, because we've seen that recently, since his defense gotten a lot better recently, we can see a scenario where Max just overwhelms Justin. But man, the huge issue about that is Justin's leg kicks. The way he's able to counter in a close range with those leg kicks is just crazy and kind of scary for Max Holloway. And I don't know, I think Justin's going to be able to land those leg kicks every so often. And that makes me a little bit concerned for Max's chances because it interrupts the volume and the combinations from Max Holloway. He kind of needs that to win. But that's why I still feel like I have to go with Justin. He just has more ways to win in my opinion. And I'm not going to count out Max Holloway, but my money is on Justin though. Gagey is rightfully the favorite because of his size and his power, but people act like he doesn't get hurt in most of his fights, and it's very possible that Holloway can stun Gagey and, and start to overwhelm him. I just think the brutal leg kicks will play a huge factor in this fight. We've seen Yair and Alex Volkanovski both have some success with those leg kicks on Max Holloway, and Justin throws some nasty ass ones. I do think Justin leaves himself a lot more open though, and Max is very durable, so it could come down to volume damage versus power damage. But anyways, those are my thoughts on this fight. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Max Holloway has a bigger chance than he actually does? Or do you think Justin is just going to flatline him? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next one.